Well, you guys got another video on how to check if your Wi-Fi is being used without your permission. If you have recently experienced slow internet speeds or slow Wi-Fi speeds on all your connected devices, for no apparent reason, it's possible that someone is piggybacking on your Wi-Fi network and taking up all of your bandwidth. This can be really frustrating and also it's illegal to connect to someone else's Wi-Fi without their permission. So if someone has got access to your Wi-Fi password, it's important that you check and you also change your password. I'm going to show you how to check to see if people are actually connecting to your Wi-Fi uh, network. And this is useful for people that don't have much bandwidth to spare. And if someone is connecting to it, it's not good. So you need to use something like this right here. This is a free tool that you can use and it will tell you all of the devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi network. It's called Wireless Network Watcher from Neurosoft and you can extract the file like this right here in a folder and then you can just click on the executable file and this will then open up and do a scan of your local network. So let's go ahead and open this right up here. You'll see Windows has protected your PC, run anyway. And right here you can already see there is quite a lot of devices connecting to my network. This is how you can weed out any rogue network connections from outside of your network, maybe it's your next door neighbor who is sneakily uh, getting through your Wi-Fi network by knowing your password and connecting to it. This is a massive privacy risk. As you can see here, these are your IP addresses. And if there's any weird IP address connecting here, you'll be able to see it. We also have the device names that are being listed right here. And these are all the MAC addresses which I've blurred out next to it. And you also have the network adapters for all of the computer. Now the MAC addresses are really useful for blocking people from getting into your network. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device information here. There's my router and my computer. And we also have some link local IPv6 addresses. And it tells us the first date they connected or de uh, detected on and so on. So this one right here is disconnected. Now, some of these are pretty obvious because I've got a ring doorbell and you can see the ring is connecting and there's a bunch of other stuff connecting there like a, a NAS and things like that. But if you do have some peculiar ones connecting, then you can check it. Go up to options as well and also put beep on new device. This means when a new device connects to your network, it's going to beep and it's going to let you know that there's a new device that's been connected to your network. And if you see any other devices connecting, they will just show up here. You can have this program uh, opened up and keep a check on it for a few hours until you know something suspicious is happening. And it will then give you the information that you need to be able to do something about it. So right here at the bottom, you'll see when I open up, say, a tablet or something like that and connect to it and turn it on, it will automatically connect, connect to the network. And this could be a rogue person connecting from the outside of your network when they uh, connect onto your Wi-Fi network. So let me go ahead and power this tablet on and you will see it being added on the bottom right there. And that is the device being connected to the network. And that's how your neighbor or someone who is connecting to your network via your Wi-Fi uh, connection. Now I'm sure you can understand the massive security risk this is when you allow or someone manages to connect to your Wi-Fi connection. Maybe it's a default password that you're using on your router, or maybe it's something that you've set up that is too easy for someone to guess. And this is where you've got to be super careful because once they're connected, they can do a lot of damage because they are now connected onto your network and onto your router. Now I've just turned off the tablet and you can see there's a red cross there now, so it's now disconnected, but it's still going to leave the MAC address there because it was connected to my network. So what can we do to stop this and how can we also detect via our router? So let me go ahead and we'll log into our router and I'll show you how easy it is to detect these and also how to block them. So let's go ahead and uh, log in to the router. You're going to need to open your browser and put in your IP for your router and log in there. Once you're on the actual main screen here, mine might be different to yours. This is a TP link. And you can see here, when I go to the clients of this router, it will tell me all of the devices that are connected, just like that software. All I need to do here is click on this block and it will block that particular device from connecting. 
And this will be the road connection from, say, your neighbor or someone who is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. It will tell you the Wi-Fi connection speed here, how much data they're using. You can see real-time rate is being used right here. If they're using your bandwidth up, it will show the up and down uh, amount of rate that are using right here. So there is the device info right here. Now, there's one here called 9277. What is that device? Well, if you open up your other software and look at the MAC address that matches it, it does tell me that it is this particular device right here. Now, I already know that this is something to do with Virgin Media, and this is who is connected to that device. So I already know that that device is uh, from my router. It's probably the modem through my original router that has to be connected. Now, if you've got people connecting to your Wi-Fi network, it's important that you give them a guest network connection. And you can set this up here and give them access via this method right here. This is a much safer way of giving people access to your Wi-Fi network rather than leaving it open or even having a very weak password and giving it to people because people are untrustworthy. So it's important that you also change all of the passwords on your wireless network. So make sure you use a stronger password and put different characters in there and also change your router password just in case they've guessed your router password as well, which is even more risky. You definitely don't want that getting out into the wild. So make changes to all of your passwords and also you should then be able to block that IP and MAC address as well. They do have MAC address filtering, but it's not that great. So anyway, I hope this video helps you out. And if you have got people connecting to your Wi-Fi network or connecting to your network via Wi-Fi, this is how you can weed them out and how you can block them and then definitely change those passwords to make it more secure. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.